Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Super happy to see everyone here. Guys, so it is day 3 in Hong Kong and did you enjoy our day 1 and 2? Day 2 guys is really really something. I've seen so many very beautiful bags at the City Gate outlet. If you have not seen that, I'm going to link it on the card above. But for today's episode, what we are going to do for day 3 is we are going to do touristy stuff, check out the very beautiful sceneries here in Hong Kong and maybe if we have more time we could check out more beautiful eye candies and bags here do a little bit of window shopping so guys please relax enjoy grab a warm cup of tea or anything that you like and enjoy and stay until the end of our episode Hi guys, Ron here, Soaking Budgetarian Fashionista. I publish vlog every Wednesdays and Saturdays about lace about fashion. I do luxury shopping vlogs, hauls, and unboxings. I also do bag reviews and provide styling tips. I'm inviting you to please join our ever-growing fam by clicking this cute little icon here so you can easily subscribe and be a member of our growing luxury addicted family. Please like and share this video and follow me on my new Instagram account. Alright, so guys, currently we are en route to the Nong Fing 360 village where we could find very beautiful heritage sites here in Hong Kong. So currently I'm just showing you around how we could go there. So actually this is the same station at Tung Chung Station right beside the City Gate Outlet Mall. So this is the main entrance. So normally on a very busy day, everything would be jam-packed and there would be very long line. Hi guys, so now we have already purchased our ticket and we are going inside the cable car here at Gong Pin. We are so lucky because it's the first day of Chinese New Year and there are absolutely no lines so we were able to take off immediately at the cable car. Now we're on route to the Ngong Pin. It's actually my first time riding a cable. Oh no, this is my second time. My first time is when we have visited the Great Wall of China in Beijing. So this is very safe. I don't feel afraid at all. But there is like a crystal cable car if I'm not mistaken. We're in everything of the cable car is made of crystal so you are going to see the underneath of what you are actually sitting on so we just rode the regular ones because i'm kind of a little bit afraid of height so this is what you're going to see hi guys so we have just arrived at Gong Ping village so it is very cold right now good thing i doubled up with my clothes for today so we are ready we are going to do a walking tour and see what we can find here in this beautiful scenery so hope you are still enjoying so maybe later after this we could still do a little bit of shopping and see what we can find holy crap guys so we are now here holy wow oh my god guys the wind is very strong and it's very cold the temperature currently is 12 degrees but oh my god i feel it's still below 10 with the very cold wind because as you can see we are on top of the mountain so it's very windy as of the moment and really really cold Alright, some fit check. I just wanted to show you what I'm currently wearing for today. So I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton Petite Sac. Oh no, Louis Vuitton Toiletry Pouch 26. I'm wearing white sweater, black pants, some black shoes. That's it. So guys, so this is the Long Ping Village. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. So we are going to see. I'm glad that there is actually a, you know, you could walk, go down the cable cars and check out the very beautiful scenery so our target is hopefully we can go to the giant buddha on top of the mountain and of course pray for you know good health and prosperity for 2024 
Actually guys, right now it's very nice to walk around here because I feel this is much better versus walking maybe on summertime because it would be very hot and humid here. But right now, the temperature is really nice. Yes, it's so cold but for me, you know, I love cold winter. So yeah, I'm enjoying it here so far. Hi guys, so we are now here. I think this is like the square. So as you can see, we've taken a little bit of OTV here. And there is Buddha now. So there are the steps. Now we are going to climb the steps. I think it is very high. Good thing I didn't wear my platform shoes. So I came prepared for today except for the wind, the cold wind. But still, we are enjoying our tour here. Oh wow. This is breathtaking, guys. So we have to climb all these steps to go up, but wow. When I first saw it, oh my god, so gorgeous. So we are going to go up the steps. So once we climb the steps, there is no going back, but wow, amazing. Thank you, Hong Kong. So let's go, let's climb the steps too. So guys, I'm not really sure how many steps these are, but now we are going up the Buddha. So the floor is a little bit slippery, so we just have to be a little bit careful. As you can see there, we're going up there. Oh my god guys, holy wow. Whew. I need to catch my breath. I think we're halfway there. And man, I am really having a workout here with all the steps. I think this is a thousand step going up to Buddha. Oh. My thighs and knees are burning. Ooh. Wow, we're almost there. There, we're almost there, guys. Ooh. I just need to catch my breath. Can you imagine if, for example, you're coming up here during summertime? Oh, that would be so difficult. It's so hot and humid and very, very tired. Ooh. Okay, guys, we are on our last flight and we are going to make it. Ooh. Just look at the view oh behind me, guys. It's amazing. It. We're here. Finally there. So unfortunate, of course, you cannot climb the last few flights, but here. Oh, this is the view. So can you imagine, guys, the thousand million steps that we have to climb? Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Pati ka nagpahinga. Ako tumitigil ako eh. Sakat sa legs. Amazing. Ah. 
So right now guys, we are on top of the mountain as you can see. <sighs> we are at the peak. <sighs> Just look at those stairs guys. Ugh. So this is what you could also see guys. So we are on the top of the mountain. See many islands over here. It's amazing. So guys, um, we have just finished the exhibit. We are now on top of the um, Buddha temple. So as you can see, so now this is the statue that we are seeing from downstairs a while ago. So we are going to pull the camera like this. So you are going to see. Can you see guys? There. So we have prayed for you know, good health, wealth, and prosperity. And here is the view. Ooh, so cool, guys. Ugh, ugh, I'm freezing. Wow. It's breathtaking, but at the same time, guys, it's really freezing up here. What a wonderful adventure for today. Oh, the weather is freezing. Ooh. So we are just walking around, just enjoying our time. And there are more stuff that we can do here in the village. Alright guys, still within Ngongping village, let us check out Pollen Monastery. So there are very beautiful temples here. So let us check out what we could find. How cute are these tortoise? They have lion structures. Guys, it's really amazing here in Ngongping. Next time you would be in Hong Kong, I would highly recommend check out this heritage site. So once you've entered, this is what you can view. This is the Pollen Monastery. How beautiful is this temple, guys? I love the red lantern. I love the architecture. I love, of course, the very beautiful flowers. As you can see, yes, it's winter, but they are still in full bloom. How gorgeous and peaceful it is to be here right now. I feel very lucky to be able to 
visit this wonderful place in Hong Kong again guys highly highly recommended that you visit this heritage site I never knew something like this in Hong Kong existed so just look at the ceiling treatment of this very beautiful temple next we have the Grand Hall of 10,000 Buddhas this is at the back part of the Pauline Monastery so as you could see this is what it looks like inside I've never seen a temple so grand and so this gorgeous like this. Really Even the walls, there are little carvings of Buddha on the walls. Just look at the opening. Bye, Ngong Pin! Yay! We enjoyed ourselves for today! go let's go back to the city and see we haven't had our lunch yet time check i think it's around 3 p.m already nice another tip for you start your day right if you're going to the village because the last ride of the cable car going back to the city i think it's around 6 p.m so if you want to be able to explore gongping village and see what we have seen go here early Hi guys, so it's continuation of our day 3. So we are at Mong Kok Station. Time check, it's 5.30 in the afternoon. And can you believe it guys, we haven't, we haven't had our lunch yet. So um, we're going to find a place to eat first. And we are going to the Lady Street Market and the Speaker Street and see what we could find. Come join us! Wow guys, so this is our lunch and dinner for the day. We were so happy with our adventure at Nongping Village that we forgot to eat. Um, anyway, so here is our meal. So we found this hole in the wall restaurant. So we have roast pork and we have roast duck and rice. Let's eat! Alright, so after our very late lunch, we've decided to check out the Lady Street Market. So this is a very famous place here in Hong Kong. So this is where we could find everything that you are thinking of. Like for example, luggages, they have postcards, they have souvenirs, they have bags, they have shirts, they have shoes. And best part is of course, you could haggle at this place over here. Just make sure before asking that you are really interested because I think they hate it like for example you are going to check it out then you're not going to purchase anything from them hi guys as a treat I'm also inserting a few shopping clips here from day two happy shopping so first we I've seen this pre-love store First, we have here for 10,800, we have very beautiful puzzle bag. Then we have the Speedy for 4,890 HKD. Then we have the Loewe Flamenco bag for 9,980. So this is the colorway of this one. How cute is this? Then they have a tote bag from YSL for 3980. We have another tote bag from Balenciaga. There is the price. Then they also have pre love Celine for 19,800 HKD. They have Garden Party by Hermes. Then I love these um, Chanel bags. So that is the price. The price is for the Business Affinity. So this is a very beautiful mall inside. Uh, Hong Kong so I've also checked out 
Marc Jacobs because I wanted to check out the prices. So we have the Hobo bag for 5,090 HKD. I'm trying this one out. I was looking for the black version. Unfortunately, they said the black version is not available for the size. Only for the smaller one like this. Unfortunately, I'm not looking for a small bag in this design. But they said that you could also get discount if you're getting two or more. So I've also asked brand new Prada bag. That is the price. And I've also checked coach just look at this very beautiful teeny tiny micro bags then they have the famous coach bag for 7200 this is currently trending right now guys just type in coach here in youtube then you are going to see lots and lots of unboxing of the quilted tabby which again i am so interested as well then i've checked out hannah so these are pre uh, no brand new bags brand new condition but sometimes they are offering discounts so they have the gucci bag so they have the Gucci hobo bag like this. Or no, not hobo bag, but dome bag style. So this is the newer bag from Gucci. They have the Dionysus bag. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Then this one is on sale from Valentino for 7,080 HKD. They have the YSL kit. Lower V bag. Same price, 13,120 guys so it's end of day three so we are going to end the vlog today unfortunately i wasn't able to show you that much when it comes to shopping around the ladies street night market because to be honest i'm not really sure if they're okay with anyone filming inside the night market so anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed our tour for today so i will see you all on day four so if you have stayed until this part of this episode kindly leave me a flag emoji i would really appreciate it thank you before we end our episode for today i'm inviting you all to please join our ever going fam there's a cute little icon here so please click on this one so you can easily subscribe and be a member of our growing luxury addicted family please like and share this video and follow me on my new instagram account that's at ramirify2 for daily updates and styling tips coming from me a million thank you for staying with me in today's episode I'm going to leave a couple of videos here for you to check out. Please stay safe. And I'm going to see you on day 4. Bye!